Hey Stella Guitarists, how is everyone doing today? I have got the perfect song to teach you, especially if you are a beginner guitarist. We're only going to need three chords and one strumming pattern. I'm talking about Leaving on a Jet Plane by John Denver. I'm going to be teaching you how to play the song in the most simplistic way possible, as well as showing you a little bit more of a later beginner option coming up towards the end of the lesson. So grab your guitar and let's jump into the lesson together. So we're not going to need a capo for the lesson and your guitar is going to need to be in standard tuning. So the chords we're going to need for today are G major, which I'm going to be playing as a four fingered chord. So we're just going to add a pinky by moving our third finger up to the second string and then adding the pinky tucked right underneath. This is going to be our four finger G major chord. We're also going to need a C major chord. And if you are really struggling with a C major, that's perfectly normal as a beginner. I've got a great alternative for you. It's called a C add nine chord. So if we go back to that four finger G chord, for us to play a C add nine, all you need to do is take your first finger and your second finger, and you're just gonna shift them down by a string. So now you're squeezing down the fifth string with your second finger and the fourth string with your first finger. And this is a C add nine chord. And this is a great alternative to use in the song if that C major is just a little bit out of your reach at the moment as a beginner on your guitar journey. So you can always substitute the C add nine chord. And then the final chord we're gonna need is a D major. So we have the G, we have a C, whichever way you want to play it, and we have the D major. So take some time now to practice transitioning back and forth between those three chords before we jump into the next section of today's lesson. So the chord sequence that we're going to be learning for the song is going to remain the same from beginning to end. And that's what makes Leaving on a Jet Plane such a great song for a beginner, because you only have to memorize one chord pattern. So the chord sequence is going to be G to C, G to C again, G to C again, and then we're gonna have two rounds on the D. So as you can see up on the screen, we have a lot of G to C transitions, which is why going from a G to a C add nine is a really great alternative. So just practice changing between those chords in the chord sequence. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add in a very simple strumming pattern. So each chord is going to be held for two beats, which means we can do two down strums on each chord. So let's practice that together, starting on the G major. We're gonna do two strums, switch, two strums, and then we switch again. So two down strums on each chord. Let's take it from the G. Here we go, and G to the C, back to the G, and to the C, G again, and to C, we're gonna go to the D, repeat the D, and the G. Last time on the G and to the C, then we change to the D and repeat. So that is our chord pattern that we're gonna be using for the entire song. Now, if you're wanting to work on your chord transitions and getting better at moving between your chord shapes, there is an awesome video I made. It's linked up above on how to get faster and stronger fingers. If you're looking for more help and guidance on your guitar journey so that you can start having more fun 
and enjoyment on your instrument, then click the link below this video and check out my guitar course, the Stella Academy. Inside the course, we go into all sorts of exciting exercises to help you improve your chord changes, to get your chord transitions nice and smooth, as well as working on understanding rhythm and playing along with lots of fun backing tracks. So the link's below the video, check it out, and I hope to see you inside the course. So your first goal when learning the song is to get those chord transitions nice and smooth. You wanna be able to change between each of those chords, keeping your arm moving at a nice steady pace, without any awkward pauses between your chord changes. So that is the first thing you're going to want to work on. You're going to want to tick that box first before moving on into the next section of this lesson where we're going to be learning a strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern that we're going to be looking at today is a syncopated pattern. This means that we're going to be leaving out a strong beat. So the pattern sounds like this, down, down, up, up, down, up. And we count it one, two, and, and four, and. And you can see and you can hear that we're leaving out the third beat. One, two, and, three, and four, and. One, two, and, and four, and. So each chord up on the screen is going to get one round of the strumming pattern. So if we take it from the start of the verse, for example, this is what it's going to sound like. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. And trees are packed and sea to go. I'm dreaming here to see your door. I dream to wake you to the sea to say good day. D again, but the G is breaking. It's Simon. The G is waiting. You see his horn. G is so. So that is going to be how we play the entire song. There's just one thing to take note of here. At the end of each chorus, we're going to be playing four rounds of the D chord instead of just two. And that's going to be on the part of the song. If you know the song well, it's where John Denver sings that me melodic line. Go. As he's singing that, that, that word that is going to be extended, we're going to play the D chord for four rounds of the strumming pattern. So we're going to be doing one, two, three, and four before we go back to the G and we start the whole sequence all over again from the start. Now, this will be indicated in the play along at the end of this video. You will see a chord up on the screen that will represent each round of the pattern. So if you see four Ds, you know that you need to do your strumming pattern for four rounds of the D chord. Now, if you are enjoying today's lesson so far, then please could I ask you to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Your support means so much to me and it allows me to make more videos just like this one for you to watch every single week. And if you want to learn more about how I can help you to become a stellar guitarist, then click the link below this video or go to thestellarguitarist.com to find out more about my amazing guitar program, The Stellar Academy. I hope to welcome you into the course. So next up, I will be doing a mini playthrough of the song. So feel free to play it back as many times as you need to. Grab your guitar and let's jam together. A one, two, three, four.
Thank you so much for tuning in to today's tutorial. If you enjoyed today's lesson, then I know you're gonna love the lesson that is being suggested to you right now on the screen. Let me know in the comment sections what you thought about today's tutorial and if you enjoyed it, as well as commenting any song requests. I love hearing from everyone. It's awesome to meet you and to read through every single one of your comments. Until next week, I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a really beautiful day. Bye.